So today we're at the point of putting the belts on the Z-axis and getting the gantry installed in the printer. What we want to do at this point is we want to put the belt in each corner for the Z-drive just like that with the teeth down, right in those grooves there. And then we'll use these that we have not used on the bottom yet. We'll put one of those down on top. Then this goes over top of that. Tighten these down, all four corners, and then at that point we can start hanging the gantry in the printer. Once you have each of these four on, you should have something that looks roughly like this. Basically going to have the end of the belt sandwiched down between the AB drive frame. You'll have that accent piece and then this piece here on top. This just gets bolted down 1M3, 1M5 and the belt going to end towards the middle. At this point we can flip it over and hang it into the frame. How you do that is kind of up to you. I found these online. They just slot in the extrusion on the top since there's nothing blocking the top. And you can put them in the top of the frame, top of the gantry, give it a spin and it should lock it in place. We'll see how it goes. Definitely want to be able to keep it in place for the next step. So this was actually pretty easy. Just remember you have your orientation. Keep that notch in the bottom towards the back and you were working on attaching the belts from the bottom at this point, so flipped over to put the gantry in. I just went down at an angle through the top, kind of like this. Then once I got it down, I was able to pivot it, lay it flat, and then just kind of push it up to one side to get these in. Got one, got the other. And then from there, I was able to just hold one side, slap these two in, and then just give them a little twist. And they hold right there. So now the next part is gonna be attaching them to the actual rails on the Z. So they'll be close to that kind of position. But we'll have one more piece that goes on to these here, and those will bolt right up to the bottom of the gantry. So these are the pieces that attach to the rail. They basically just attach with four bolts, kind of just like that. They'll go right there. Then this will get bolted up with an M5, just like that. And then once we have that in, I still have the stoppers for the rails. I'm going to use one at least probably below for sure, just to hold it all level at the same point. And then at that point, I'm going to start putting my belts on. I might need one on top just to kind of keep things steady, but we'll find out and see how that goes. So I have all four corners attached now. Just have them sitting on the little bumpers. This one actually popped out. It's right there. But they're all just sitting on that, so it's relatively level. Gonna take the belt now, go down inside and around that pulley, and then it'll go back up around the idler. And then you'll pop this off or loosen it enough to get the belt through, tighten it back down. And that's basically it. I do have all of these not all the way backed out, but kind of a couple turns past flush so that when I get each one on I can kind of just tighten it down a little bit if necessary but I'm going to try to get it as tight as it needs to be just by pulling it through here so hopefully that will get me most of the way there. If you take the printer and roll it onto its back you can kind of slip the belt through here. It's not perfect to get it lined up but it will at least let you get the belt routed through with this because you need to go down, through, and then back up. Then once you're at the top idler, you can kind of adjust things from there if you need to. But just to get some space, just trying to flip it over, stick it through that way, it's a bit easier. Okay, once you have all four belts on, kind of take a second, do some sanity checks. This belt, what I will do to all of them is just take a zip tie, tie the extra up so it's out of the way. But you should be able to now just kind of spin each motor on the Z a little bit and it should move but just make sure you have your belts make sure you can see that you're routed on the pulley correctly you route it in through here for the AB drives you're nice and centered on the Z and again I have these basically almost all the way out but just by pulling them tight they're pretty good as is I'll probably leave it that way until I tune it for the front make sure you're Within the idlers here, 
So you can keep the belt pad nice and straight. And same thing here, it's kind of hard to see. Make sure you're on your pulley, on your Z. And what I like to do is do at this point, make sure your gantry moves smooth. Hits nice and square at the back, both corners at the same time. Full range of motion, forward and backward. So moving along pretty nicely. I mean, that's basically the gantry installing belts. So at this point, I'm gonna be putting in the AB belts and then the carriage and the tool head and then some wiring. Kind of hard to show on camera, but basically I use a small Allen wrench and kind of just poked it around the idler to start with. I worked my way backwards from there around the AB motors and then to the gantry, to the carriage. Once you have both belts onto the carriage, I like to tighten one side down relatively snug and then use a pair of pliers to kind of pull it through and tighten it down from there. Once you have that, you can kind of sanity check your work to the directions. If you look at the back of the frame, you should be able to see the left side has a gap on the top and the right side has a gap on the bottom. And that is the correct belt path. 